Geometry Dash has had its fair share of hackers, but some of them have made a bigger impact on this game than others. Today, I'd like to cover three of the most mysterious hackers in Geometry Dash history. So without further ado, let's get started. In the earlier days of Geometry Dash, the game's security wasn't well made. There were many bugs in the system that Roptop was yet to fix. A player named Exotic took advantage of this situation. He went under the alias Anaban and started messing around with the game. In August of 2016, he made a bot that created levels at a lightning fast pace. This surely took a toll on the Geometry Dash servers, so he was banned by Roptop soon after. But this wouldn't stop Anaban. In November, he came back and stronger than ever. Using his knowledge, on GD exploits, he was able to hack his way into other players' accounts. Once on a player's profile, he'd change usernames, post account statuses, and update levels. Anaban hacks many popular Geometry Dash players, including Viprin, Michigan, and Eric Van Wilderman. It's even been said that he hacked into Robtop's account and deleted one of his levels. After a while, Anaban used hacks to update the level Bloodbath. The updated version showed Anaban's final message. It basically said that hacking the game was fun, but he was done doing it. It, never give up on your dreams and goodbye. And with that, Anaban was gone. These days, Anaban is a boogeyman to the Geometry Dash community. Every time the game gets hacked, Anaban is blamed, even though he quit hacking the game in 2016. For example, in December of 2021, Cataclysm and some other popular levels were hacked by a YouTuber named Ralex Mod SFC. Even though the identity of the hacker was revealed, many players just assumed that Anaban did the attack. I guess that shows how traumatizing he was to the Geometry Dash community, or how stupid this game's fanbase is. In early 2015, a level named Cataclysm was created. It was super difficult for the time. With tons of cheaters beating it using hacks, it seemed like completing Cataclysm was impossible without him. All of this would change in April 2015 when a Korean player named Cyclic beat the level. Cyclic kept beating the hardest levels in the game, like Ice Carbon Diablo X and Acropolis. What was impressive about him was how fast he was able to beat tough levels and how few attempts it took. Cyclic was soon recognized as one of, if not THE best player in the game. After a period of demon grinding, he turned to building his own level. In mid-2015, Cyclic created Sonic Wave, an incredibly hard level inspired by 9 circles by Zobros. When Cyclic posted a video of him completing Sonic Wave, he openly admitted to cutting the video. Cutting is when a player beats certain parts of a level one by one and edits the footage together to make it seem like it was done in one attempt. This is usually seen as cheating, but Cyclic thought it was alright to do because he beat the level off camera. Because there was no direct proof of Cyclic beating Sonic Wave, the level was never rated by Robtop. After a while, Cyclic updated Sonic Wave. The update seemed to have made the level twice as hard and way beyond the difficulty of levels at the time. For this version, Cyclic changed the level's color scheme from light blue to the dark blue we're familiar with today. And in July of 2015, Cyclic would verify the level and post a completion video online without cutting. Because there was proof that Cyclic beat the level, Sonic Wave was rated by Robtop. But many players couldn't believe that Cyclic beat such a hard level. Some people even even accused him of hacking. Presumably out of frustration with these claims, Cyclic briefly quit the game. When the Geometry Dash 2.0 update came around, Cyclic would return to beat some more extreme demons. He completed Cataclysm again, but this time the new, harder version. He also beat a Bizarre Phantasm, a super hard level for the time. After this, he'd start creating again. Cyclic and some other builders created a buffed remake of The Hell Zone, an old and difficult level by a player named Shone. Cyclic verified it and posted a recording of him beating it online, but something was off with the footage. Players found evidence of him cutting the video. This was seen as cheating for obvious reasons, so Cyclic's integrity was put into question. This would mark the beginning of the end for Cyclic's career. In March of 2016, Cyclic would admit to speed hacking Sonic Wave and cutting his Hellzone video. This shocked the Geometry Dash community who believed that Cyclic was the best player in the game. He claimed to have beaten the Hellzone legitimately off camera, but he couldn't record the gameplay because the laptop he was using at the time was too laggy. But considering the lies he told in the past, this was hard to believe. Cyclic then said that he'd been active until he graduated from high school. Though this news was disappointing, the worst would come the day after. Another top player named Riot would reveal a Next conversation he had with Cyclic. Here, Cyclic would admit to hacking or cutting every level completion on his YouTube channel. He later deleted every social media account he had, including his YouTube channel, and quit the game. 
Many people, including Riot himself, refuse to believe this. All the videos Cyclic posted before Sonic Wave and the Hell Zone look legitimate. It's possible that Cyclic lied about hacking the levels on his YouTube channel so he can leave the Geomshit ass community for good. Maybe his GD career was getting in the way of his school career. Cyclic would resurface again and start posting videos on his new YouTube channel. Some hoped that he would repeat all the levels he hacked in the past, but in the end, he mostly played easier levels. His greatest achievement would be getting 75% on Bloodbath, a hard extreme demon. This showed that while he was skilled at the game, he just wasn't the godlike player we thought he was when he was hacking levels like Sonic Wave. C was a popular Jump Shadash YouTuber well known for his commentaries on the game. Though his content was unoffensive and entertaining, he'd attract one huge hater, Muhammad Jakalem Al Abdullah. In late 2018, he'd post many videos on YouTube which made fun of C and other popular Jump Shadash players. Take this one for example. Hello everyone, Jesus here, Muhammad's best friend. Today I'm here to spread the message that C1997 sucks. What separates Muhammad from any other internet troll was his incredible dedication to his act. The videos he posted seemed to have taken lots of effort to make, so when they got so little views, he was surely upset about it. This probably pushed them to make his next move. Starting in December of 2018, many Geomsh Dash players would get friend requests from mysterious users. The messages included in these friend requests demanded the player to subscribe to Muhammad's channel. Because of this, it's safe to assume that Muhammad was responsible for this. He probably used bots to do it, considering that he was able to send so many friend requests at once. Muhammad also instructed his bots to spam the comment sections of popular Geomshi Dash levels. The usernames of some of the bots used were Sam Anderson and CYT. Sam Anderson is rumored to be C's real name, while CYT is his old Twitter username. Muhammad seemed to have named his bots after the person he hated the most. Because his bots were spreading his name across Geomshi Dash, Muhammad's channel gained some attraction. Seeing this, he started pumping up more and more videos that ridiculed Jumpsy Dash and its players. The more Muhammad posted, the more offensive and vulgar his videos got. Because of this, YouTube terminated his channel. Muhammad would soon come back under a new channel and quickly continue to make videos. He shifted away from bullying C and started targeting Robtop, the creator of Jumpsy Dash. After doing some digging, Muhammad exposed many personal parts of Robtop's life, including his financial debt and his family photos. To me, this is where he crossed the line. The videos he made back when he was trolling C and and other players could be seen as dumb jokes, but here he was actively exposing sensitive details of a person's life, which is a big no-no for me. Unlike the other hackers we discussed today, Muhammad is still around, he just isn't as active as before, but he's recently been teasing a comeback, so maybe in the next few months he'll start rating the game more and posting his epic videos. I sure can't wait for that. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend you subscribe to my channel and leave a like. If you love Geomchi Dash, you'll surely want to join my Discord server where we talk about the game and this channel. I would like to shout out these two for helping me create a previous video. Their channels are linked in the description. But anyway, I thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.